Hey guys, this is Nungaya, and welcome back to Grim, King, King Midas. Let's make stuff dirty. Hey, hey, ah! Let's stomp them into submission. <laughs> make it disgusting. No cutscene? Okay. I'm good. Don't get stuck, please. Don't get stuck. Let's go back. Get stuck on things, man. It's what? It's the Dark Lord? Really? Don't be good! You call me a Dark Lord? No. You all need to be gold. There we go. So you shut up. Much better. It's nice and quiet. No yelling. Don't get stuck, oh my god, really? Now, I'm repulsive. Ah. <laughs> so Dionysus lets Midas escape from the curse he brought on himself. And there's no punishment for his idiocy? No repercussions? I don't think so. This ought to be a catastrophe! Make it putrid! Mm, yep. Let's do that. <laughs> well, thank you very much, sir. I am disgusting. <laughs> I see you. I'm gonna get you. This time. Secretive is a saint in a brothel, and about as useful. <gasps> nope. Don't you dare fall. Why can't I get up there? That's just dumb. Let's go back here then. The normal way. Don't, Don't delay, but stomp away! Excuse me, I'm still making stuff gold. Thank you very much. All these people need to be gold. Pretty and shiny now. It's nice. Oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> Everything turns to gold. Now that'll make him think twice about being greedy again. But what do the rest of the Olympians think about this outcome? Do they even care? 
Well, they're golden, so they probably don't. Zeus and Ares never had what anyone would call a healthy relationship. Let's exploit their mutual lack of love and respect. A well-aimed kick from Ares ought to do it. Make it disgusting. Let's tone down those colors. Okay. Ooh. Oh shit! I did not see that there was um, lava there. All the colors are so much the same, I can't see. Can't see. Why are you jumping like a freak? Really? What? Okay. This is not normal. I'd like to jump over it. Thank you. Uh, nope. What is making stuff do? Can I please jump over this? Like a normal person? Stop it good! Try. It's a little hard to see. Little fairies are really annoying me. Okay, make the jump, thank you. Almost died in a pool of lava. Okay. How the hell do I get it? Something ridiculous. Almost as annoying as the level. On the I'm like walking on the stomach. We are just as big as, um, as gods, that's it. This is awesome. Oh, and I still drown in water. This is ridiculous. Yes, it is, isn't it? I know. I'm sorry. I, again. I can't see because you're making so much dust, man. I can't see where I fucking walk most of the time now. Okay. Do I spy with my piggy eyes? Yes, it is, isn't it? Let's get her. Explode 
bitches explode. Oh shit. Really, you're a god and you're getting stuck on stuff. Stop. So much smoke. There we go. What was that? Nothing. Oh yeah! Clash of the fighting titans! Stop it! Okay. I'm coming with my butt. I'm gonna stump in your face. No, don't you dare, motherfucker! Ooh, I, I so fucking hate that. I do not push the button to for you to fucking jump. I need you to fucking jump on the spot. And he doesn't do that like a normal person. No, he fucking jumps fucking far. The bastard. I just want you to butt stomp. Fucking hell. Jeez. And the moral of the story? Avoid musical contests and be careful what you wish for. <laughs> okay. The old saw, beware of Greeks bearing gifts, falls far short of the whole truth, doesn't it? When the gods are involved, keep your hands to yourself and your mouth shut. Things are rarely what they see. Midas wishes the gods had held this party on somebody else's patch. Midas, you pusillanimous donkey's derriere. Wear these ears to improve your hearing. Why did I accept this invite? What was I thinking? Apollo wins every argument. His sisters are harpies. I'm one miserable ass. Oh, whoa. Midas, an egotistical, vainglorious narcissist, has taken extreme measures to conceal his ears. Ears? What ears? Don't toy with me, you... You dead man talking. You know perfectly well I have ass's ears. No, I don't. No, I, no, I don't. No, I don't. Ah! ah, your majesty, I'm the last barber in the kingdom. I wondered when you'd get to me. I know you'll keep my secret. You have no one to tell it to. Everyone you've ever known has been exterminated. Well, if you don't mind, I think I'll cut and run. The barber was not about to become another casualty of his profession. He out Midas Midas. The friendless barber, with a keen sense of humor and self-preservation, shares his secret with a hole in the ground. Midas is a homicidal maniac with the ears of an ass, the brain of an ant, and small-sized nether regions. Midas is a homicidal maniac. 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 When humans drink to excess, crockery gets broken, hard words are spoken, and an occasional fight breaks out. When gods overindulge, all hell breaks loose. Dionysus, have you no shame? I think I was related to one of those beings. Just humans and... and... Uh, other things. Not even a demigod among them. It's not cannibalism if they all taste the same. Bad. Stay still, Midas. This will only hurt if you move. Heard that before. Not today, you drunken old goat. 
I'm sure Marcias meant no harm, Maiden. He was just a bit peckish, and perhaps slightly smashed. Name your price. We'll keep this among friends. <laughs> I want a golden tuck. I want it now. Wants it now, does he? He refuses to consider the consequence of his wish. How can wishing for a fine thing go so wrong? Why isn't gold always good? Enough useless questions. Midas, go to the river Patoclus and wash your wish away. <laughs> well, they all died rich and entombed in golden coffins. Trust Midas to put false face on the catastrophe he caused. And the Olympian gods, jealous of their powers and big on object lessons, remind him that he made a big mistake. Zeus and Ares keep hacking at one another. Midas and his behavior with Apollo and Dionysus is just a cover. They've each consumed 30 hogsheads of nectar. Tempers are afraid. I'm thinking you want to get rid of me, like I got rid of your grandpa. It's not going to happen. You're always putting me down and making me feel worthless. I've had enough. And like every ungrateful child that's had enough, you want more. More of this! That's one set of preposterous but deserving deities down the rat hole. They took Midas with them. They all our stories in so well. Until next time! Well, guys, that was it for King Midas. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. And hopefully see you guys on the next video.